Hi, I'm Katherine Hurst from Katherine Hurst Contemporary Crafts, and I'm going to teach you some knitting techniques today. I'm going to show you how to work with circular needles, both back and forth in rows or joining in the round to make a seamless tube. Circular needles come in a variety of different materials. Here are two different sets so I can show you some different ones. These are metal needles. These are made by a company called Addy um, and they have a wire joining them. These tend to be really easy to use because the wire is quite flexible so it doesn't twist on itself like some of the other needles do. Also, this join space is the one you want to look for when you purchase circular needles. You want to make sure that join is really smooth so that you can push your knitting over the top of it and it doesn't get caught, um, it doesn't snag there at that joining place. So these are metal, these are bamboo circulars and they have a clear plastic joining area. Um, these are nice and lightweight and easy to use. Also, the lengths of the wires themselves come in different lengths so you can get shorter or longer ones. If you're working in the round, that's important because you have to have enough stitches to go all the way around that needle. So depending on the size of the piece that you're making, you may choose a shorter or longer wire for your circular needle. Circular needles can be used in two different ways. You can use them to knit back and forth in rows like you would with straight needles. But because you have that extra bit of wire, it gives you some extra space to hold your knitting stitches. So normally with knitting, you're limited by the length of your needle. So with straight needles, for example, you can only knit this much knitting. You can push a few extra stitches on, but at some point you're gonna run out of space. So if you're knitting something really large, like the panels of a blanket or a really large jumper, maybe for a man, you might want the extra space that a circular needle will give you. And when you're knitting back and forth in rows with a circular needle, you use them just like you would straight needles. So you're gonna knit across the row just by pushing those stitches to the end of one needle and holding that needle at the back and then the empty needle in the front and you use that one to knit with. So we're just knitting across this row. And then when you get to the end of that row, You'll push all the stitches over to the other needle and use the empty needle to knit across the row again. It's pretty straightforward. It's exactly like knitting with straight needles. To knit in the round with circular needles, first of all, you have to have enough stitches to go all the way around the needle. So you can't knit something very small in the round with a circular needle. There's a method you can use called the magic loop, but that's a little bit different. This is if you're just using a plain circular needle and you want to go all the way around it to knit in a tube. <clears throat> Before you join, you need to make sure that all of your stitches, the bump at the bottom of all of your cast on stitches, is facing toward the inside. You want to make sure you don't have any twists so that you're stitches would twist around the needle like that. If you do that and you join and start knitting, there's no way to fix it. You just will have to pull it out and start again. So it's important to make sure everything's facing in the correct direction before you start. You take the needle that has your active yarn attached to it, and that will be your right needle. And then your needle that doesn't have the yarn will be your left needle. And once you've got all your stitches cast on, you can just insert into the first stitch on the left needle and start knitting. And you would knit, you've now joined, you've created one seamless piece of knitting and you would knit around and around and around that circle. To create stocking stitch, all you have to do is the knit stitch. You don't need to purl because you're always knitting around the outside of the piece you're never knitting the inside so that you will just continually make the knit stitch and you'll create stocking stitch. <clears throat> There's one other method to join that I can show you that makes a more solid join. So sometimes if you just start knitting with that first stitch, it can make a little hole or a little loose spot. A little trick to try is after you've cast on your total number of stitches, you'll cast on one extra stitch using the long tail cast on method here. 
to create one extra stitch and then you'll pass that stitch over to the left hand needle. Okay, just tighten that up a little bit. Sorry. Just tighten that stitch and then you'll knit the first two stitches together. So the first one you cast on and the new stitch, you'll knit them together and that creates a more solid, stable join so that when you carry on knitting, you're less likely to get a hole at the joining spot. You can place a marker when you join so that you know where the beginning of your row is or your round, but you can also look to see where the tail is hanging down and that will be the beginning of your round as well. And that's how to use circular needles in knitting.